Hey, how are you doing? Welcome to this CapCut tutorial. In this CapCut tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a dynamic intro for your YouTube or for your channel or for your social media pages, whatever it is. So I've just got these two background colors in my timeline and you can Google search background colors or you can create them yourself. I made these with Pixelmator Pro. They're HD size, but if you wanted to change the ratio, you'd go to the bottom right hand side here in the screen view and you would click ratio and you could change the ratio here to which you desired for whatever platform you're gonna make your intro for. I'm gonna keep this as simple and as effective as I can. I'm gonna select text up here and I'm gonna drag a text layer down on top of the first clip in my timeline. I'm gonna drag it out a little bit and then I'm just gonna write my name. So let's use that. If you wanna change the font, you can do so here really simple, let's use this font here, and then scale the font up to the size that you want it to be. Now what we want to do is animate this text. So we're gonna come up here and keep the text selected, go up to animation, and I want it to be um, like this stroke fill color, I quite like this, or this stroke fill effect, I quite like it. Um, if I want to change the duration of uh, how long it does it, let's say for one second, I use the slider at the bottom. Um, and then I could go to the out and select an animated phase out, but I'm not gonna, because what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna make a transition for these two clips here. And I'm gonna do that by going up to transitions. And then I wanna keep it quite, um, quite simple, quite effective. And because I'm going from a black to a color, I might not see some of these more vertical blur sort of um, transitions. By the way, if you want to preview a transition, um, hover over it, select it once, and it will preview the transition for you in your screen, in your viewer screen. Um, and like I said, you can't really see the effect of that because I'm using a black background. But if I was to use like a simple one like this, the open, you could then see a little bit more effectively what that looked like. So the transitions, I'm just going to use this pull from the left. I can just drag and drop it onto the clip like this or I can click the little plus button and it will just give me that reminder if they're too short and I can drag it into like this. I just extended that slightly. So now we've got this quite nice effect, but what I want to do with this text, I want to make it the same color as this green over here. So I'll select the color, select the color dropper, just place it onto this green in the timeline and it will make that, um, that color the same color as that green for me. So it'll just be a little bit more effective as we transition through. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go back to this text here. I'm gonna right click and I am going to copy the text, place my playhead in the center here and press Command and V, and this will just copy that text for me. But obviously this one, I want the color to be black. So I'm gonna select the color swatch up here with the text selected, and it's gonna be black so that when it comes in, remember we've still got that transition applied. Okay, so I've just adjusted the sizes a little bit of each one. So each one is about two and a half seconds. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here to um, audio. And I'm going to find some audio that sort of matches the background, if you like. So I've gone to TikTok sounds and I'm using this TikTok sound here. So we know it's like a, we have a beat drop somewhere. So here's the beat drop. So I want that beat drop to essentially be um, in the middle of this. And I'm gonna make this fade in. I think that beat drop is about right. Nice, and then I'm gonna press um, B on my keyboard and create a break there, press A on my keyboard and delete that, and then fade this music out by just selecting the music, and grabbing the little anchor here. So I've gone up to send effects and I've found this heavy footsteps. So you could search for this heavy footsteps and I'm gonna click the plus to play, put that into my um, timeline. And now we've got this. Are you ready? And then I want to do exactly the same again. So. So here I just want to copy these heavy footsteps, right click, select the clip, um, copy, put my playhead here, press V, and then I've got the footsteps again, just drag it over so it overlaps slightly. Maybe move it this way a little bit. 
And there you go, cool dynamic intro for your YouTube channel, creating in CapCut. If you have any questions, any comments, please leave them in the um, in the section below. Take care, and I'll catch you all soon.